In this problem, we're told a diver running 2.3 meters per second dives out horizontally from the edge of a vertical cliff and three seconds later reaches the water below. How high was the cliff and how far from its base did the diver hit the water? So we have this cliff here. And so we know this diver is running on the top of this cliff. So here's our diver and they're running. And so they're traveling 2.3 meters per second. And so this is going to be horizontally, right? And so we know that this diver is going to jump off and it's going to go something like this. And then eventually it's going to hit the water. So it's going to hit this water here. And we know this is going to take three seconds. So since the time it jumps to the end, it's going to take three seconds for this whole, uh, for it to hit the water. And then it says to find how high was the cliff. So we're trying to find this distance here, right? So the height of the cliff, I'm going to call it delta y. So we're trying to find delta y. And then how far from its base did the diver hit the water? So if this is its base, this is where it hit the water, we're trying to find how far from it, so the distance between them. And I'm going to call that delta x. So we're trying to find delta x and delta y. So uh, whenever you do a problem like this, you're going to want to find the given. And so let's write down what we're given. And so keep in mind this is two-dimensional. So you're going to have a given in the x direction and a given in the y direction. So we're going to separate them. It just makes it a lot easier. So let's start with the x direction. So what are we given? So you should always know in the x direction, your acceleration is going to be 0 meters per second squared, unless specified differently. But if you're doing most, it's just going to be 0. And then what else do we know? Well, we know uh, v sub 0, or initial velocity, they tell us, right? Uh, vert or horizontally, we're traveling 2.3 meters per second right when we jump off, or when the diver jumps off. So v sub 0 is going to be 2.3 meters per second. And then we also know time. Right, because we're doing it till we hit the end of the water. Time is going to be three seconds. So they tell us that. And finally, uh, delta x. That's what we're trying to solve for. So we don't know what delta x is, so we're just going to write delta x equals question mark. Now let's go ahead and do the y. So in the y direction, since we're on Earth, I'm assuming, uh, the acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Right, you always got to know that in during the y component. And then v sub 0, which is the initial velocity, uh, unless they specify, it's always going to be 0. So it's going to be 0 meters per second because they don't tell us uh, we have an initial velocity in the hor or vertical direction. So just assume it's 0. Time in this case is going to be the same, right? Because it's going to take 3 seconds for it to hit the ground. doesn't matter if it's vertical or horizontal. It's going to take 3 seconds. And then keep in mind we're solving for delta y again. So delta y equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So now we have our given and we have a drawing. So let's actually solve the problem. So during two, er, for two-dimensional kinematic problems, you're going to want to use this formula. And this formula is used for most of these problems. Uh, you might see a few problems that require other kinematic equations, but the main one you're going to be using is delta y or delta x, right? Depends on which uh, direction you're doing it in, equals v sub 0 times t plus one half a t squared. And so one of these, what we're able to do is we can just solve for it right away, or we can solve for both of them. But the one that's most simpler is the x. And essentially what you can do is just take your seconds and multiply it by your initial velocity, and that's going to give you uh, how far you travel. And so I'll show you why it's true using this equation. So let's just go ahead and solve. So delta x, because uh, we can just replace it, right? So delta x equals initial velocity which is 2.3 times the amount of time it takes until uh, the end, which is 3 seconds. So 2.3 times 3 plus 1 half times a. And so we know a is 0, so this is where the problem gets easy, uh, times t, which is 3 squared. So what you should notice is that this is 0, right? And so if this is 0, everything multiplying, by, multiplying next to it is going to be 0 too. So essentially, this is just going to become plus 0 and plus zero doesn't do anything. So essentially delta x is just gonna be equal to our initial velocity times our time. And so if you go ahead and do this, delta x is gonna be equal to 2.3 times three. And so you're gonna get 6.9. Keep in mind this is gonna be in meters, right? Cause uh, this is meters per second, this is seconds. And so they cancel like this. And so delta x is gonna be 6.9 meters so the distance uh, from its base is going to be 6.9 meters, but we still need to find the height of the cliff. 
So we're going to use the same exact formula, except we're going to do it with delta y this time. So we have all our variables here. Let's just plug in. So delta y is what we're solving for, equals v sub 0. And so keep in mind, v sub 0 is 0 in this case, times 3. Uh, 0 times any number is 0. So we're just going to be 0. And I could do 0 plus, but I'm just going to get rid of the 0. So we just have 1 half times a, which is minus 9.8, times t, which is 3 squared. And so we're going to have 1 half times minus 9.8 times 3 squared. And that's going to give us uh, delta y, so the height of this cliff. And so if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get minus 44.1. So keep in mind this is negative. Keep in mind uh, this is in meters, right? Because the distance is in meters or delta y is in meters. But this is going to be the change in our from our beginning to our end. So we change minus 44 meters. So if we change minus 44, uh, point 0.1, uh, the length of this is going to be 44.1, right? We're just going negative direction. So the length of this, delta y, is going to be 44.1 meters. Uh, you can round however you want, but uh, delta y right here is going to be 44.1 meters. So how high was the cliff? It's 44.1 meters. And how far from the base did the diver hit the water? 6.9 meters. And so that's how you solve this problem.